Hi everybody, this is Pradeep. Today's topic is uh, those. It is for uh, those people who are who have completed the SAP training and uh, they are not getting jobs. Even they are not getting the inquiry calls. They are not getting the job calls. Okay, and uh, obviously they they feel a little bit worried or uh, their question is like uh, what happened? Why we are not getting the job? So I have just assembled few points which I will share with them, and uh, I hope you will get some clarity on what I am trying to say here. The first point here is obviously we are ready because uh, we have, we, why we are not getting the job after completing the SAP FICO training. I have few questions for you. First question they are thinking that uh, our SAP jobs are not there in the market. Jobs are not there maybe that's why we are not getting the call. Answer is yes. Job is there. Job is there, but uh, maybe few points which you are missing. So this question is very, you need to analyze yourself very honestly. You need to ask yourself what you did during your training period. So you need to be honest with yourself what you did with your, uh, during your training period. First of all, you need to ask yourself, do you have the relevant domain knowledge before you start when you started the SAP training? Like someone, let's say, just completed become then after that immediately going for SAP FICO training because someone said that uh, jobs are there, so you should go for uh, SAP training and you will get the job. Is it really true? Really, like, is it going to have you analyzed the job requirements in before going to start your career in SAP? Because to become a functional consultant, it is highly required that uh, domain knowledge is required. So if you are thinking that jobs are not there for freshers, here I captured some screenshots for you and you can see good companies are hiring. Both, both the openings are from TCS. So jobs are there. And here like with one year experience onwards, you can see. I'm sure you must have some experience. So that's why domain is must. You should have the domain experience. Next question is, uh, people are thinking that uh, or uh, the job aspirants they are thinking that we have completed the training now we are going to get the job or we should get the job it is not like that okay so <clears throat> you must be thinking that sap fico training equivalent to job but as for me sap fico training is not equivalent to job rather sap fico training plus your skills equivalent to job so just you completed one training that does not mean that you are going to get a job, right? So here few points are there which are uh, uh, very, very important now onwards. So during the training, if you have not developed any skill, you have not practiced at all, or let's say you have not tried any business process properly, then how you are going to, how you think you will get the job? Whatever the institute you have joined, or wherever you have joined if you have not given your hundred percent you have not tried all the business process in the system you have not configured everything in the system the end-to-end -end, everyone is looking for end-to-end -end. if you go to any job description uh, any job requirement if you go to the job description there they have given some requirements so are we going to are you going to fulfill those requirements you need to ask this question to yourself they will say what I'm getting the feedback on that basis only I'm preparing this video. Some people they are saying we have not got any project from the Institute for the practice point of view. I don't think you, you did not got the project means what SAP FICO training itself a project based training. So whatever the things you have configured in the system, everything on the basis of some business blueprint. Right. You must have analyzed the blueprint before doing something configuration when you are suppose you are going to do a uh, GL configuration. So you must have analyzed the complete business requirement, what the customer is looking, what the project it is. Then only you, you did the configuration. So that itself project. So you are obviously during training, you are not going to get any internship somewhere. So this is how the training should be designed. And I'm sure you must have also got similar type of training. So before doing some configuration, each and every point from the blueprint need to be analyzed or need to be discussed. So this is what the business requirement and this is what we are going to configure and this is our expected result. Fine. So you must have understood the blueprint in detail before doing any configuration in the system. 
lot of things are there available nowadays in social uh, i mean in youtube in google lot of things are there lot of case studies are available lot of business process are available have you tried all these things in your as, um, on your own you must have tried those things you must have asked your trainer to clarify your queries any doubts anything have you are, have you tried those things this is a, again you need to ask this question to yourself because that time one dedicated trainer with uh, was associated with you so during that period so you must have encased that um, that time with your trainer okay so without doing all this business process without trying all this business process in the system how can you will ex explore all the areas whatever it is there in your sap domain how many errors you have faced how many errors you try to resolve your own have you captured those errors have you noted somewhere those errors because in interview this type of questions will be there so during your practice have you tried anything this type of work or you are just doing your copy uh, copy paste you got some configuration document and from there without doing anything because it's not clerical job it's consulting job so when you are doing something you should know why you are doing this what is the logic behind this particular field if i am going to click here then what is going to happen this is what it is required and this is what actually industry is looking this is what employers are looking okay so again it is highly required you need to analyze the job requirement again if there is a job requirement and most of the uh, jobs are nowadays on s hana but let's say you trained or you have completed the training on ecc then obviously that job is not for you because strictly it is required that we have opening on s hana so this job is not for and out of 10 nine, nine jobs you will find on s hana so that that is one question you need to ask do you have the knowledge on s4 hana like when you have completed your training whether it was s4 or it, it is ecc have you tried all the areas like in asset uh, all type of asset acquisition depreciation calculation so uh, using different ledgers different parallel accounting different valuation methods have you calculated end to end product costing have you calculated profitability analysis have you tried all the critical business aspects business process these things are required because it's not like doing some basic things and uh, you think like uh, you are skilled and you are now you, you will go for uh, job market and you are going to get the job some people they have complained that i have interest on controlling because my profile is going to shoot with that but uh, uh, i could not got the opportunity again i will say try explore sap forum lot of business case studies are there so try to practice all those things so your domain related experience like what maybe right now you are not working on sap you are working on oracle or you are working on some quickbook whatever application so add those business process in your configuration right now explore those things even if it is not there in your existing uh, training so don't complain try whatever you can do you you have to do that then only you are going to get that job you have to gain that confidence so when you will configure multiple things and going for interview you need the confidence along with your skill you need the confidence and i believe you will get the confidence once you will practice each and everything in the sap system until unless you will not confident or you will not configure end to end process in the sap environment you are you will not feel confident for your interview okay so these are the things are required so have you completed the project or not if you have completed the project how many projects you have completed how many tickets you have resolved have you tried anything from your own if you don't have your stuff uh, search in uh, google you will get a lot of things or you have to do something because whatever it is required if there is a requirement of 100 you have to be 100 so there is no possibility that with 99 or 99 is not acceptable so jobs are there i have shown some screenshots jobs are there but only thing is whatever the need of industry that is required then you have to uh, you have to earn that you have to gain that and when i asked them to send the resume i found that again whatever i'm sharing on the basis of a deep analysis with the students feedback those are watching my videos they are adding comments in my um, different videos so i thought like i let me check their cv when i check their cv the cv is just like there is no clarity actually what what job they are looking are they looking consulting job or are they looking uh, sales job so just one line knowledge of this knowledge of um, new gl knowledge of gl knowledge of account receivable knowledge of payable it is not like that consulting is not like that so 
uh, your resume should be reflection of your skill. So if you have a detailed knowledge on the, every area, then make sure that your resume, everything should be there uh, your, uh, in your resume. So resume should be very clear and that you have practical knowledge on all these areas. Then only your employer can get the idea like what knowledge you have. Make all your sk skills from the business point of view. Try to prepare small case studies, whatever you have configured. Because when someone is going through your resume, they will understand what skills you have, like what the problem you have faced during your uh, previous configuration, how you resolve those things, how many uh, uh, UATs you have prepared. So each and everything, when you will explore all these things, you will get a lot of knowledge on that. And same thing you are going to show in your resume. So again, I would say that all skills should reflect in your CV and try to prepare small case studies for every knowledge, whatever you have, whatever the areas you have uh, already worked. So prepare some small case studies and reflect those things in your resume. So don't think that we have completed the training. Now we should get the job. It's not like that. You have to be different. You have to be different if some um, like from other candidates. OK, so make multiple CVs. One CV don't circulate like uh, one CV. In fact, a lot of people have seen they're just doing the copy paste. One CV, five same like just name, email ID, all these things are changed. That's it. So it, don't do that. So prepare your own review. You may refer some format, something, but don't just my friend completed this CV and I will just change it. It's not going to work because someone is going to analyze your scale on the basis of your CV and whatever you are showing in your CV, make sure that you should answer, able to answer all those things. If you are saying that I know the product costing, but simple question from product costing, if you are not going to answer, then it is going, going against you. So nowadays everyone is doing tele, um, uh, first round with no telephonic round, right? So in that time they are going to ask some sample questions and that time they will reject you. So these are the few areas you have to work seriously if you are if you are working right now you are in the training phase then make sure that you have to you have to do a project whatever you are learning until unless you will not complete the project your training is not going to complete or your skill is not going to complete so everything should be practical approach point of view it should be there there should be that will like just a, a few things if you are just going to learn and after that you are you will complain that that we are not getting jobs so no one is going to help you lot of things are there not only in my channel there are so many youtube channels are there they are all from there also you can learn it's available only thing is you have to do some effort then only it is going to work and uh, no need to add fake experience believe me this fake experience is going to spoil your career sometime so maybe this time you will be lucky you will get the job in next job it will be cut so it will be very very risky go with genuine experience lot of companies also taking interns <clears throat> so uh, with less salary so if you are if completely new you don't have any experience you need to explore those areas uh, i mean those companies uh, you can join somewhere as an intern once you have some um, knowledge real knowledge real experience then after that you can switch the job so fake experience is not at all the solution first interview if you are not getting uh, i mean if it is not selected it's okay first second third it's it's okay every interviewer is going to help you by adding some questions to you so accordingly you can prepare prepare better for next interview if you are not going to uh, crack the next interview that is fine third interview will be better so from the previous interview, you should be better for the next interview. So in this way, if you are going to prepare, definitely it is going to work. So it's not like jobs are not there. People are getting jobs, lot of calls they are getting. So uh, only thing is you need to be, be alert and you need to be see what is required and what is your skill. Maybe you, you must be find like this, uh, like uh, uh, very straightforward. I answer these questions, but uh, this is what actually going on. I am getting a lot of comments and uh, when I'm trying to help them and I found that uh, there are a lot of gaps are there. So my dear friends, you need to work on those areas. There are people they will help you. If you can ask us any questions, you can add comments, you can send me mail. Definitely I will. But only you and first you need to help yourself. Then only someone is going to help you. I hope you got something or what I am trying to say here. You got my point. Thank you very much.